There are a number of software and firmware versions in the Tessera system which can be updated. These include processor firmware, panel firmware and fixture packs. We'll show you how they work and the process for updating each of them in this video. Let's start with processor firmware. There are two ways to update processor firmware. The first is by using the Tessera remote application. Simply run the version of the remote application you want to use on your connected Windows or Mac laptop. If your processor is running a different version, you will be notified before you can connect. You can then update the processor remotely. Select the processor and select the Reload Processor Firmware button. The processor will be updated and then reboot. This will take a few moments, then the processor will reappear and you can connect. The second way is to load firmware from an external storage device or USB key. First, download the software from the Brompton website to your USB drive or key. Now insert into a USB port of the processor. Go to the settings menu in the user interface, either direct with a keyboard or mouse connected or using the remote application and select reload firmware. From this menu, you can browse to the location of the firmware on your storage device and select it. From the same menu, you can also navigate to older versions of firmware which may be stored on the processor already. Once you have uploaded a new version from an external device, it will be stored on board the processor in local storage until it is deleted manually or during a factory reset. Once your processor has been updated, you may wish to check which fixture packs have been installed. Fixture packs have the information that the processor needs to work with different fixture types. As new products enter the market, they are added to the latest fixture pack, which may have fixes for any bugs found with older packs for existing panels. A new version of processor firmware will have a fixture pack included with it but it may not be the most recent available if a new fixture pack has come out since the processor firmware was released. You will also find the most recent software, firmware and packs on the Brompton website. To see which fixture packs are installed on your processor, go to the settings menu underneath the fixture library window. Once you have selected this, click on the manage packs button. By default, the pack that came with your software release will be at the top. However, in some cases, you may wish to install additional fixture firmware or use an older firmware contained in a different fixture pack. To install another fixture pack, click Add and browse to the location of the pack. This will then install. If you have multiple packs installed on your processor, it's important to remember the priority of the packs you have installed. If the same panel occurs in more than one pack in the list, the processor will default to using the pack which is highest up the list for that particular panel. If I am running 2.3.2 for example, but my 2.3.1 pack is higher up the list than my 2.3.2 pack, the processor will default to prompting the user to update the panels with firmware 2.3.1. Let's cover this in the next section where I can show you how to update the panel firmware. To update panel firmware, first navigate to the online panels view in the user interface. This will show you the devices that are connected to your processor that have been recognised. In this example, the processor is informing us that the panels have version 2.3.1 and need their firmware updating. This is because the highest pack when we went to manage our packs was 2.3.2 so the panels currently do not have this version. The processor is therefore prompting us to update to this version, which it considers to be the correct one to use with this panel. If for any reason this is not the pack you want to use, you can use this information in the previous section to manage the packs and put the preferred pack at the top of the list. Return to online view and you can now update your panels to this version. To do this, 
Click the Reload Firmware for Devices on Incorrect Version button. A progress bar will appear next to your panels and once loaded they will reboot with the new firmware. This has shown you how to reload processor firmware, manage your fixture packs and update firmware on your panels. See you in the next tutorial.